Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this little piece of equipment, which is a solar powered condenser microphone. So, anyhow, uh, it's branded realistic. If you look on the box, I think somewhere it says uh, custom manufactured in Japan for Radio Shack, a division of the Tandy Corporation. So, there you go. This is a Radio Shack exclusive sort of thing. So, uh, anyhow. It has some features on the back. It's a solar-powered electric condenser microphone. There's a catalog number. Um, but anyway, omnidirectional pickup pattern, low impedance, and frequency response of 15 to 1500 hertz. A state-of-the-art breakthrough in microphone technology. It says that on both the flaps. Um, that's about it. Never needs batteries. Well, solar-powered. So anyway, this is the microphone. Uh, mono microphone, got the one jack on there, doesn't have the uh, extra split ring like what my microphones have. Um, now I find this weird because all the microphones I use don't have batteries in them. The uh, microphone that I'm talking to you on now is this little Sony, like ECM3CS or something. A little Sony microphone, which is actually uh, a stereo mic. And the other microphone I have is this guy, which is a Rode Video Micro Pro. Uh, also does not require batteries of any kind. So to me, it's kind of weird to have a microphone that requires power. I know it's a thing. I'd imagine that's kind of how they're getting this low output impedance or whatever they're advertising. So first off, let's uh, well, obviously up here is the actual microphone section and there's just this huge solar panel which looks to be an amorphous one which you you know you'd have to have because it's gonna have to work in low light but I'm just gonna unplug this microphone and I'm gonna plug this one in we're gonna see what happens this camera might not like it while I'm still so theoretically I am now talking to you on a solar powered microphone. I'm gonna go ahead and stop and start the recording real quick just to make sure that it's actually coming through this though. All right, so here we go again. This should definitely be going through the microphone now. Um, the only thing that I can see potentially wrong with this is uh, it never needs batteries, but always needs light. So you're kind of getting one or the other. Right now, of course, I'm in a fairly well-lit room with the uh, sort of studio lighting and quote marks turned on. Let me go ahead and hold it up to my face a little bit here and talk into it. Uh, but I'm curious what happens if I kind of move it around and don't necessarily keep the solar panel pointed at a light source. I could actually put it up like underneath this desk lamp here. And I'd imagine the camera in itself is kind of compensating uh, in terms of the uh, like the audio level. The camera is going to be automatically compensating for that. You can see the, the studio lighting there. I'm just going to go ahead and keep talking into this thing. I'm not going to move my face or anything. And I'm just going to slowly start to cover the solar panel here. So you can actually see there's four sections on the solar panel. I just covered up the first one. And we'll keep going here. That's covering up the second one now. And now we're going to, that's about two and a half. That's covering up the third one. And that's covering up all of it. Loosely covering it. I'm going to see what happens if I just put my hand over the entire thing. It's probably not going to work too well. I'm going to hold it there too because this thing may have a capacitor in it. So anyway, there's that. It's still, you can see the realistic solar-powered electric condenser microphone branding on it. On the back, catalog number 1.8 kilo-ohm impedance, and it's made in Japan. It looks like it's got two Phillips head screws on it, so let's go ahead and take this thing apart. Take those two screws out. And that might be enough to uh, get this apart, considering I got the screw out all the way. I don't think I did. Must be. Yeah. There we go. And that'll just come right apart. Like so. 
All right, so there's nothing on the back of this. And we'll go ahead and zoom in on this, take a look at what we have here. All right, so let's have a look. Obviously, the, uh, the thing right in the middle here, that's going to be the actual microphone. Uh, I've got a few, I'm not sure what the, those resistors have got kind of a pink tinge to them. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. And then we've got this random resistor. We've got, not sure what this is for. We've got a metal contact going over to something. And then we've got a couple of different capacitors around there. We've got the solar panel coming in. And then the cable is soldered across this cap. If I can keep the thing in the shot. Cable soldered across this leg of that capacitor. And it looks like the ground might just be going to the same point where the solar panel ground's hooked up. Uh, anyhow. Not real sure. These might not even be resistors. These, they might be trying to set up some kind of a filter here too. I'm not sure. We'll see if we can get it out though. Get the entire thing out. Looks like we can. Yep. So this just got like a clear plastic thing over, over where that solar panel goes. And then the only thing I see that's kind of odd about this Is this right here it's got this piece of copper which is soldered onto the circuit board makes contact with the metal here which it looks like yeah it's got metal behind that I'm not sure what that's really there for though it's making contact there I don't know if that's just like a grounding thing or something like that to uh, keep noise out like if this thing has this might have like a metal plate around it or something to shield that circuit. That might be what that's for actually. So yeah, there's not a lot to this. <clears throat> Looks like uh, they're trying to form some type of uh, filter with the resistors and capacitors in that. Not sure how good the sound quality is. I guess I'll see when I start editing this. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I'd imagine, like I said, they're just filters. And I'd kind of expect power supply filtering, but I'm not really seeing it. It's kind of nifty though, how they have the uh, electrolytic caps just kind of mounted onto their, uh, or mounted on their sides, so that they're horizontal, and then they have these cutouts in the board. It says made in Japan, or else it says Japan on it, and it's got Japanese writing around it, which is kind of interesting. A little piece of foam there, just kind of backing the solar panel, and then they've got a little cable clip even to hold this in place, which is kind of nice. Kind of, I guess that acts as strain relief so it doesn't uh, break off at the solder joints there. Looking at the front of it, that microphone, pretty small, but that. Uh, that microphone element's probably bigger than the ones that are in this microphone that I'm talking to you on now, so. And then the solar panel, which, uh, if I leave it flipped over this way, maybe I can get a voltage reading on it and leave it pointed toward the light somehow. Let's see what we can get. It's gonna be kind of a pain because I gotta hit, hook up two probes, plus hold the thing so that it actually it's pointed at a light source. I'd imagine this is designed to work with ambient light fairly well. I see. 1.36 volts is what I think I saw. Yeah, about a volt, volt and a half. So it's not any different than like a, it's like a little tiny button cell battery. If you wanted to run it off of that, I bet this doesn't pull a whole lot of power. 
Really, I'm not entirely sure. I, I guess they're just using that to boost up the output signal a little bit more. Be interesting to see what uh, what the audio sounds like on this. Probably not very good because I've got. Well, I kind of imagine this is designed before. I don't know. I take that back. There's like fluorescent light fixtures have been a thing forever, but. I do have the fluorescent light over here, so hopefully it doesn't pick up a whole lot of noise from that. But anyway, that's a uh, little solar-powered electric condenser microphone. I figured this is actually a pretty good time to uh, show this thing because the entire Radio Shack company I heard is closing down on May 31st, so they don't have too much time left. Um, apparently every single store will be closed May 31st of 2017, so... Anyway, that's uh, this little microphone. I'll put that back together. Probably never really use it for anything, but well, who knows if the audio quality is good enough. <laughs> but anyway, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.